Chinese Chicks here and today we are back with more Asian snack foods but this time it's going to be a little bit more weird. Um, so weird that I'm actually kind of scared to try them myself and just smelling them and looking at them makes me kind of cringe. So this should be fun because we're Asian. Doesn't mean that we've eaten all kinds of weird things. So. No. No. Okay. Alright. You ready to take the plunge? I guess so. So the first thing we have are these almond and seaweed flavored fish snacks. They look like they're um, shredded pieces of almond and then like dried sardine fish looking things. So pretty gnarly. Um, wait, how many did it give me? <laughs> oh my god, I love that! I'm not used to eating like the whole head and the eyeballs and stuff. I mean it's small enough to where I guess I could do it, but um, Lots of protein. Yeah, proats. All right. Oh, see? That's not very that. seaweedy. That's very seaweedy and very salty. What do you think? You're not scary. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I think it's just because the fish, if the fish were bigger, then I might have a problem with it, but there's they're fairly small, so it's not like, ooh, this tastes like an eyeball, or ooh, I'm tasting the stomach, or like, ooh, the gills and the skeleton. Ooh. It's <laughs> something of. that you would think that a, a mermaid would eat for dinner or something. And it's maybe a little flaky. I definitely think it would be too fishy for most American palates. Yeah, unless you're yeah. into eating exotic things, but... It tastes uh, very seaweedy too, so... Mm, it's, it's very seaweed. It's fishy, right? Fishy, Fish, seaweed. seaweed. It's like very much from the sea. It's a bite out of the sea. Yes, with peanuts. With peanuts. With peanuts. Here, you have a head. Your teeth. Eat a head, not eat a head. Is that a head? I prefer. To me, it's just really crunchy. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be either. It wouldn't be a snack that I would go seek out in. I eat, but it's tolerable. Like if I'm starving or something and I, there's like nothing else available, then maybe I would eat it. I'm so hungry. I'm starving. Die. No, not that, please, no. Oh, no, I can't eat that. It's so gross. Oh, this again, no, something else, please. <laughs> this is called delicious fish snack. It's red and kind of moist looking with some sesame seeds on it. After you, my dear. It's not real hard, it's kind of squishy, like you could break it apart and unwrap it so that they're like little squares. I'm and pulling out my chaser here. <clears throat> just in case, just in case. You know. All right, it's just getting a little weirder as we go. Are you putting the whole thing in your mouth? Uh huh. Wow. Mm. I can't say it's delicious. Mm. It reminds me of something though. I just can't put my finger on it. It's sweet. I don't like the consistency. It's it's like it's sweet. It's sweet and like crystally. It like breaks down in your mouth really easily into granules. Yeah. And and it's fishy, but it's not like super duper fishy, but it just has this weird flavor to it. It's hard to explain. I don't taste the sesame seeds. I don't taste like that redness does nothing for me. I personally would not Ugh. want to eat one of those again. No. I'm thoroughly done with those. Yeah, done. Yeah. <laughs> Next one is dried tofu. So tofu in itself is not scary, but this tofu looks a little bit scary. Um, it's brown and also wet looking. I mean, I like tofu. 
special food. Okay. And I think it might be okay. All sweet and good. I, I'm okay with this one. Mmm. Kind of tastes like if you had one of those football, the Japanese footballs. It's shaped like a football and you stuff rice in there. It's just really sweet. In my opinion. It's not that it's, sweet. It's really sweet. Like I can only eat a few and then after that I'm like done. It's not like a candy bar or anything like that. Yeah, it's just well, like yeah, no. sweet tofu. Just think of tofu that's sweet. Oh, Maybe a little beef jerky-ish. Ish. Yeah, but not as hard as beef jerky. It's like that soft beef jerky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, really soft one. So the next one we have is by far the scariest one. What do you think? These are chili hard boiled quail eggs. I was trying to find out if we need to prepare this, like cook it somehow before eating it, or if we're just gonna eat it raw. So we're gonna eat it raw. Because we can do this! Well, there, I don't, it's not raw because it said it was hard boiled, so it's cooked. But, it, but then I don't know if beyond the package if you're supposed to like heat it or yeah. like do something else with it. I don't know why we do this to ourselves, but I don't know. It'll be fun we're very for curious. you guys. We're doing this for you and partly for us because we're curious. Okay, very interesting, very hard, rubbery, but thin. You like it? No, no, no. I don't know if you can see that, but... It is uh, hard boiled. The, the yolk is um, chalky and it's kind of spicy. It's supposed to be. It's chili flavor. Oh, no. <laughs> That's right. There's a lot more yolk. Yolk? Yolk. Then there the is yolk. the, what do you call this part? The albumin? The white part? The, the it's supposed white? To be white? It's supposed to be, I guess. Well, maybe I it's think, not supposed to be white. I, I maybe think, no, I think because they had soaked it in some flavoring, it's probably mm. darkened and... Okay. It's really hard and rubbery on it the is. outside. Yeah. It was actually kind of hard to just take a bite out of it. It was harder than I expected. If you don't like anything rubbery, like this is by far the most rubbery thing I've ever eaten. Ever. More than any kind of shrimp or squid or calamari like that you will ever eat, this is the most rubberiest. Mm. I need my chaser. Oh, I'm still chewing. It has a fishy flavor to it too, even though it's not fish. What's the thing with Asian foods having fishy flavors? It's like no matter what it is, it's just fishy. I don't know. Well, maybe if we had warmed it, it would have softened that egg white. Maybe. We'll never know because I don't want to eat another one. Yeah. So. Mm. That's it for our Taiwanese Asian snacks. And as you can tell, they were somewhere, well, most of them were kind of not something we would probably eat again. But it's good for us to just try and experiment with different foods and in case you ever go and you want to look at some of these Asian snacks then you'll know kind of at least a first impression of what they would taste like. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>